All right, everybody. This is Monkey Puzzle and... And me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's fishing for monkey puzzles. I've been it's hooked. Like <laughs> looked like you were moonwalking across the water there. Yeah, it was like I was flying backwards. That was so you, crazy. So you caught yourself a big 200-pound fish here. Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> right on. So the theme of this episode is getting wet. We're about to conquer the oceans like we said we would. Only took us, what, like a season and a half to do it? Yeah, something like that. Right? So, we keep getting distracted, building giant bases and all this other stuff, but uh, you saw us, you saw me at least get this shark quite a number of episodes back. Actually, I didn't even show you getting it because, uh, I forget why, the footage didn't work out for some reason. Um, but, we have some plans, so... We want to just bring you in in the beginning before we do too much. You gonna show them your shark science? Oh, yeah, basically what we did was we weren't sure if these would fit through a dino gate and they don't. As you can see here, it doesn't look like it would, but you never know. So we laid out some pillars and we took out one and it fits through you put three pillars down take out the middle one it'll go right between them yeah and then uh, Aaron found out on reddit today that a shark can actually go through one of those horizontal giant hatch frames yes so and if we didn't mention before all this is towards building a shark cage which is what this raft is going to be in fact we should name it Let's change the name here. It's going to be Urr. That's kind of a good pirate name. But uh, BMP. So this is the shark cage. We're not going to name it Shark Tank? Shark Tank? We could do that. Wait, isn't that a TV show? We I, might get copyrighted for that. I don't even know. But uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's call it. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Uh, I'm too busy playing games. This is my TV right here. So... This is one part of our strategy, is this is going to be sort of a mobile utility raft that has a shark cage on it that will also work for taming ichthys. Because um, ichthys do seem to, even though they're a passive tame, they do seem to flee at the end. So, yeah, this will be for, like, the surface level tames. We still haven't built it down here. That's what's going to come. But we built this thing about as big as a shark because if when we laid it end to end on those pillars it seemed like the shark was a little bit more than six building pieces long so this thing is five by seven and i'm going to build a cage underneath i'm not going to do it on camera because we have a lot of other adventures to do as well so i just show you this much it's all embedded with foundations so that the shark cannot destroy the raft if you don't know how to embed a foundation, I'm going to link you right here with a card to a video where I do it. So you could go check that out. Um, but basically now this raft is as strong as the foundations. So, and dinos can't, at least sharks can't hurt stone. So it's good. Um, so that's stage one of our strategy. And then stage two is going to be on this little raft over here. Now this raft is gonna be the depth gauge and this is completely taken from a video of a guy named One Wing with an X on either side of that. So it's like X One Wing X and he does a lot of PVP stuff and he does a lot of really good videos on boats or rafts in Ark and all these different rafts he makes with them so you should definitely go check out his stuff i'll definitely link to the video where he shows how to do this and i'll tell you what we're doing when we get there got a bunch of parts in here ready to go for that but first we're going to take a pause and build the shark cage and bring you back probably tomorrow <laughs> when that's ready to go and we're going to head out into the high seas and do all that so this will tame the sharks and the ichthys and that will be good for taming Dunkleos, Plesios, and Moses, and maybe some of the other new stuff, too. Isn't there a squid? There's a squid now. 
And we're going to need the Moses, Mosasaurs to get the squid, I've heard. When yeah. are they going to add the sperm whale? Because that's the squid's natural enemy, right? Right. But anyway, we're going to get everything in the sea, <laughs> eventually. And we got to get busy getting some black pearls, too. Because mm -hmm. all, all that stuff's coming up pretty soon. Luckily, they keep delaying the update for the tech stuff as long as we keep delaying conquering the oceans. But, uh, <laughs> I think it's time. So yeah, let's do it. Anything else we need to tell them before we pause to build this thing? I don't think so. All right. So we'll see you guys then. Yo, we're back and we did stuff. <laughs> what did we do? We built a megalon, megalodon cage, shark cage. Yeah. Right here. Oh, more piranhas. Uh oh. So I'm it's not wearing any armor. It's way bigger than it needs to be. We have the uh, platform thing turned on pretty high here. Um, but in default, you could make this a lot smaller. It could be as well with the pillars coming down. It could be as as uh, narrow as four wide to fit this these hatches down here, which we're gonna try to bring the shark in. They do go through there. You want to show the people that Rosina sure. can actually make it through there. If you did walls instead of pillars to go down, oops, I don't have my scuba on. You could you could make it as narrow as too wide. So there it is. So I'll let you do the math to figure out how small you'd need to make it to get it under the 88 limit. But it should definitely do, be doable. I just made it lavish because we could. And then up top, this one and the other raft, which is going to be the depth gauge raft, which we're going to explain very shortly. Both are equipped with smithies, beds, crafting stations, and and whatever you call these things, preserving bins. Dude, we need ladders. I can never get up these damn ramps. All right, we're gonna make ladders, and we're gonna go find a spot to use these things, and we'll show you what they do. Yeah, yeah. See you soon. All right, we just went off a little bit offshore and found this 168 Mosasaurus. Be careful, objects are closer than they appear. So, I'm gonna go right above this thing there is a limit of how high they can go. So I'm going to find a spot right above it, which is right here. All right, so this depth gauge raft is right above it now. And taking a cue from that video I told you about from One Wing, what you can do is use this to set pillars down to find the different levels that these things will spawn at, or not spawn at, but come up to. So the first level is 41 pillars down, is as high as Dunkleos will go. And then they won't go any higher than that. So you can get right above that level and they won't come any higher. So I just put 41 in my inventory and I'm gonna go all the way down with them. So I'll see you when I get down there. All right, so that's the last one. That should be 41 pillars. Now we wanna place a foundation here. So what we're gonna do is place a thatch ceiling the first place I can, come out one, and I should be able to snap a foundation right there. And then we get rid of this junk right here and right here actually I guess, I guess I could be saving this stuff and using the mods here so I'll use the demo gun instead H hacks <laughs> absolutely actually you gotta get rid of that get rid of that and then okay so if there we go and then we'll get rid of this. Everything but that one foundation. So that's the whole depth gauge part of it. Is it, we've just marked basically where Dunkleos will come up to. 
So the next stage is to do that where plesios will come up to, and that's supposed to be another 29 pillars down. So I'm going to clean this up and get down to there with more pillars. I got to eat too. I'm going to do that in a second, but I'm not going to risk picking up this, but we're just going to do the same thing basically. That's one there, and we're going to go another 29 down, but I got to eat. Theoretically, that foundation is still attached to the raft. So we'll see how that goes, but we'll have to test it. But if we move the raft, hopefully it'll move with us. You want me to test it right now? Uh, Before you build the rest of it? Maybe. I mean, we should probably just get to taming this, this Mosasaur and then we can test it. Okay. So if I didn't state it outright before, there are limits how far you can build up and build out on a raft, but there's no limit on how far you can build down. And because I keep deleting these, they were not going to pass the 88 uh, structure piece limit. And it is weird how they float there. But mm -hmm. there's no hacks involved. You can do that in the actual game, so. This is the actual game. No mods, no modifiers to do it. All right, so there's that. I just got to get rid of the rest of this stuff. That is the marker for how high Plesios will swim towards us. So if we kite one up here, we know how high we can go above it. Apparently, their momentum can take them a little bit higher than that. Their area of attack can take them, can go a little higher than that, but it's just a general indicator where you need to be above in order to, um, to attack them safely. Just waiting for Jaws to come out of the, out of the depths and eat both of us. Well, I'm glad you're spotting. Got to keep your head on a swivel. Okay, and then the last one is 40. I got to go grab two more pillars. Oh, found another cave. Ooh. This is the cave that um, Alexis and John, where they kited that Mosa to, and they sat inside the, inside the cave opening. Mm-hmm because the, the most is too big to get inside. There's a ton of crystal and oil and stuff in here. Right on. And a Titano Murma Explorer note. Oh, cool. It's really bright. So this last set, folks, I'm going down 40. And that should take us down to Mosa level. I'm not seeing that Mosa right now. He probably went south. Uh, and we don't know yet whether this is going to be truly movable or not. But we'll find out. There's the Mosa. I see it. Now this is west. seems really low. Yeah. But we'll find out if this is actually accurate. But uh, I want to go to that level and then swim toward it and see if it's below me or above me. How many more do you got? Nine. I'm going to hit the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> His numbers may not be accurate. We'll yeah, I, um, I don't know, man. We'll see. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these pillars in place because we might need to set the somewhere else right all right so that's that and we could set the foundation floating there and get rid of all these pillars but first before i do that i'm going to find out if this is a true true marker if i could hit him with an arrow i'd bring him over there oh, i got him all right there it is Okay, yeah, he has definitely come above. 
But he didn't attack me when he did. Oh, there you are. All right, I'm gonna shoot him and bring him over this way. Ooh, scary. Yeah. Why am I not getting hits? What's up with his hitbox? Oh, there's a hit. That was my hit. Um, it's really weird. I gotta get some stamina. He'll come up above the marker, but he won't attack when he's above the marker. Okay, that was a hit. I got battle music. Coming up. And he stops right there. Oh, we're pretty far from it. If we're gonna kite him, we should get on the shark and kite him over to where we want it. Yeah, I'm trying to lead him over there. But it's hard to hit him and it's hard to aggro him. Right. That hitbox is strange. There we go, there's a hit. Ooh, very close. And I'll have the music and it'll still swim away from me. Yep. It's because we're above the, the level where it attacks, I think. So that marker is is working. Probably. I guess. It's hard not to get nervous when he starts swimming straight up at you. Yeah, he's definitely above it. Uh huh. But he's not attacking me. How fast will he own me? Okay, that's a hit. Pretty fast. Where should I be aiming for? I'm just aiming for the body. Remember like Timmy Carbine says, you gotta lead your targets. He's moving so slow, it doesn't seem to matter. I gotta be careful, I might hit you. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, he's way above, but he's not attacking now. I think one wing told us pretty straight. Oh, he could bite there. Did he get you? He did. Okay, I'm right. Good job. I'm sure. right by. And the uh, foundation would be just a little above here, like about here. So there's a cage we can build on the bottom of this too that we'll do once we know that this is actually accurate. Well, if we get him in a cage, we're basically all set. Yeah. If we can get him in there. Uh-oh, I'm out of stamina. What you need? Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't ascend because I was out of stamina. I was about to get the shark and bring it down to you. That's all good. It's okay. He gets one good one in on us. 
What's an arc episode without a death, you know? Exactly. Death to a Mosasaur is nothing to be ashamed of. That'll be two in a row that I've died in, right? Yep. No. Let's see if I have enough oxygen to get down here. Who we got Do you happen to see my body? Yeah, I see it. I think I see it too. I'm actually fairly close to death myself. This time he got me down pretty far with one bite. He got me twice. Yeah, a second one would kill me. What you crafting? I am crafting more trank arrows. Ah. Uh, it's having a seizure. That doesn't look knocked out. No, it was having a seizure a minute ago. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we want them intact so we can use them. There's a shark above me. Uh, he's definitely fleeing. I'm pretty far away. I, um... Yeah. I'm following you, but do you... He's moving away about as fast as I'm swimming. Yeah, we should have brought the shark. I should have. Especially now they're getting way the heck out here with nothing. I'll go get them. If I can make it to the surface. Now a shark's on me. I'm going to change to some regular arrows. Oh, two sharks. <laughs> yep. Oh shoot. That's not good. Yep. Can't help you right now, I'm sorry. I'm just out of whistle distance of the shark. I'm gonna die. Swim up. I'm at the surface. Oh. Swimming backwards towards land, and I'm dead. And he just ate me, too. <laughs> Alright. Didn't want to wait too long for his torpor to drop. As it is, I'll probably end up killing it anyway. I see some blood. Alright, folks. Well, I never did find my body bag, which is a shame. There's a bunch of good stuff in it. But we did not lose the Mosa yet. <laughs> my shark keeps wanting me to shoot it. I gotta be careful. I don't have any weapons on me right now. Well, I have Trank Arrows. Oh, right. Those will still kill uh, jellyfish. Really? Yeah. They still do damage. Way less than an actual arrow, though, right? Oh. I and don't think so. That's that. All right, folks. So, we demonstrated that you can kill a 168 Mosa. <laughs> oh, wow. His tongue is sticking out very strangely. That's weird. <laughs> you get anything special from that? Just prime meat. All right. Bunch, bunch of hide. All right, so that was a bust. We killed it. We figured out that a cage would be really cool. And a mobile cage would be even cooler, right? Because Aaron was talking about how you could build a cage down on the ocean floor. But then you'd have to kite everything to it. So we're going to do a test of this depth gauge here. If we can move it and have those platforms stay with it. Or foundations, whatever you call them. One, two, three, go. Wait, I'm just getting up here. All right, you ready? Yep. 
Okay, I'm moving. So is the foundation. So they are attached. Yep. Very cool. So that works. That's crazy. <laughs> so we have a mobile depth gauge. And now I'm going to get some parts and make a depth gauge cage. 